Hey loves, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this voluminous curls using flexi rods. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so to get started with this tutorial, I'm going to be using one of my old wavy wigs. Now you can use a wavy wig, you can use a straight wig, it all depends on you. I'm going to brush through this to make sure that we release any knots. I'm going to be using this water bottle and I filled it up halfway. I'm going to be mixing this per, um, perfect curl as well as this serum oil just to hydrate and moisturize the hair. You also want your hair to be a little bit damp at the same time. I'm going to give this a very good shake to mix it all together. Now you want to partition the hair. You want to section it track by track just so it's a little bit tidy. It's, it's, it's easier to work with. Now I'm going to be spraying that mixture on to the hair and I'm going to be brushing it all you know through so that way we release any knot again I'm gonna be using 20 flexi rod this is one pack there's 10 in one pack and this is the size I'm gonna be working with now you want to make sure that you are twisting the hair and rolling just as I am doing right here you want to make sure that you're rolling your hair firmly on the flexi rods that way it would activate the curl and it will make the your, your hair pattern tighter do this till you get to the tip of the hair and you want to bend the flexi rod to secure it so that way it doesn't loosen up and also bend the other side as well i'm going to show you guys this in a more detailed version later on but again same process brush through the hair to release any knots and spray the product on it spray the mixture on it just to dampen it a little bit so that way you have a more defined curls and it's easier to work with you can skip the you know wetting the hair part you can just maybe add a little bit of product to make this easier to work with again you want to twist and roll like i'm doing right now twist the hair and roll this is amazing if you want to have like that you know curly voluminous feel and look afterwards so again twist and roll twist and roll twist and roll twist and roll so you get to the end bend the flexi rod so that way it secures the you know hair it doesn't losing up and bend the other side i'm going to keep doing this over and over it's a, it's quite repetitive but i'm going to be showing you guys a more detailed um, version of it later on just so you can get the hang of it you're going to be doing this over and over again so you're pretty much done with the hair okay again bend this down to secure this so that way it doesn't loosen up you want to fold this again and bend the other side so that way it is locked and secure okay So yeah, I'm going to be working on my closure. Again, you want to do this method if you want a wand-like feel to it, right? So I'm just going to be partitioning my frontal, my closure, sorry, into four sections. And we're going to be doing this quickly. Now, I'm tightly trying to hold this firmly so that way it doesn't loosen and that way it, you know, sticks to the flexi rod. Now again, twist and roll twist and roll same thing that we're doing and i'm going to tightly um, roll this up so that way it is it is tight and firm on the closure like it's looking right now yes so again i'm going to wet the hair and brush through it so that way it is not less and it is seamless at the same time i'm also making sure that i disperse all the mixture into the hair and every strand is damp basically so that's what i'm doing right now i'm brushing through the hair and i'm going to put the flexi rod just behind it because i want i want i'm going to show you the pattern of the of the curls later on but I, it depends on how you want the pattern to look like 
so i'm doing this inwards as opposed to doing it outwards and i'm rolling and i'm twisting at the same time right and i'm going to lock that in and also lock the other side as well so that way it is secure amazing So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Now, if this process seems like it's daunting or it's difficult, um, play this in slow motion. Or play this over and over again, and I promise you, you'll get the hang of it. You have to try <laughs> trial and error, they say. So yeah, do this once, twice, the third time you'll be a pro. So yeah, twist and roll, twist and roll, twist and roll. And this is amazing if you want to get that flow, um, you know, wand like curls without using heat. So I'm going to do this last part and I'm trying as much as possible to be as detailed as possible. So just watch and see. Going behind that and I'm tightly holding it so that way all the hair slicks back and I'm twisting and I'm rolling. So again, this is what it looks like. Now there are so many ways you can do this, but this is what works for me. So if you have another method that works for you, um, definitely do that. You know, if it's if you're more comfortable doing it on the other side, or you want to do it falling down instead or vertically, um, do that. You know, but do what works for you. But this works for me, and I hope this helps someone. So yeah, everything is slicked back. This is how I want the curls to look like. Um, everything is secure. Just going to make sure that everything is secure. I'm going to leave this overnight to, to air dry um, and then install this later on the next day. Something you can do is to just a little bit of got to be sprayed just to hold the curls a little bit more. You can use hairspray, whatever you want um, that works for you. Now this is the next day. This is what it's looking like. The curls are still on. It did not loosen up and it's still very firm. So I'm going to just loosen this up. Now some I didn't let this air dry 100% because it was still a little, a little bit damp. It was like 90% dry. But because I wanted to film with this, um, I decided to just let this out, you know, but this is what the curls are looking like right now um, I definitely love it. Um, it adds volume to your hair without using heat So this is what the curls are looking like I'm just going to unravel this right now Now when you're unraveling this you also want to be a bit careful so that way you retain the curl pattern And that's what I'm doing so yeah, you want to follow the initial um, twist and curl method that you did. So yeah, this is what we are looking like. Now, I think I'm going to do another video, but I'm going to be more, I want, I want to have like tighter curls and I want it to be a little bit more voluminous. Maybe I'll use like 40 flexi rods so that way we focus, um, we have like tighter strands. So I'm going to be using the TG bed head. I'm going to be using this to slick my hair down and to kind of get like that silk press look on the closure area right i'm going to use this to just press this down like i'm doing right now i'm trying to style the hair so that it's easy for me to install and again i'm trying to be as gentle as possible so that way i don't affect the curls because i want to finger comb it out to make the curls last longer I'm going to be using my got to be spray on the closure area just to melt this down a little bit and I'm going to be tying this down as well let this sink in for maybe five minutes and just let this you know settle in while it is you know settling in and doing its thing I'm going to also unravel the curls using my hands now I went ahead to moisturize my hands using the hair serum that I initially used for the hair and this is what it looks like, right? So I'm just doing this bit by bit. I'm trying to be as careful as possible so that way we don't have like any freezing. And I'm just doing this, you know, curl by curl, section by section. And I'm trying as much as possible to get my hair looking voluminous. Okay, 
so we are still separating the hair and so far so good you can see that the more I separate the more voluminous the hair is looking Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like. I still feel like I can finger comb this even more, but I'm loving how it's looking. It's still looking very voluminous. I'm just gonna go over it with my hot comb just to slick the closure a little bit further down because I like the sleek look and that's what I'm trying to achieve. And maybe give the, you know, <laughs> the closure a little bit of like a hump so that way it just stands up if that makes sense. But yeah that's what i'm doing i'm slicking my head down a little bit and i'm also trying to style this in a way that it just looks good but yeah this is what we are looking like so far voluminous and yeah here we go guys i'm in love with this love how it's looking and i hope you also love it at the same time so yeah